Looks familiar. I've been studying this ship, its crew. There was a Normandy before this one. You died in an attack. Something like that. But then you were resurrected to fight the Reapers. Maybe you and I have a thing or two in common. But you have something else. The reasons you fight are still alive. The friendships of the people around you. And more. You and the Quarian are joined. You could say that. I'm not. Your pheromones are. Is this why you wish to continue living? For their affection? Hey everybody, welcome back for Mass Effect 3. This is episode number 103. Uh, it's kind of a weird starting point, because uh, I didn't think there'd be anything happening on the Normandy, but I was wrong. Near as I can tell, this is the only thing going on, though. So I just decided to start the recording when this came up. Uh, let's see. Yes, they matter to me. No, I'm here to kill Reapers. Duh. I'm here to kill Reapers. I care about them, but I know that they could die on any given day. The only thing I know for certain is that everyone dies if we don't win this war. Better to keep the world at a distance. Would That's what I'm to starting to well, think. Jack? The more, I mean, because I know the ending, What's in here? the more I see it is called that. the Echo Shard. Passed from soldier to soldier, Prothean to Prothean. Each adds their memories to it. Like a beacon. How far back does it go? To a time before the Reapers, it is all that is left of my people. And you don't want to remember that? Imagine if everyone you knew was dead. You could not remember their faces, or the color of the sky above your home. The memories were gone, but so was the pain. Would you want to remember that, Commander? No. Even if it meant watching everyone die again? No. I just pictured this crew... Yes, I would. No. No, I wouldn't. Anyway, what I was saying before was it just seems selfish to take Tally from Garrus and Garrus from Tally. Because if I didn't uh, engage in a romance with either one of them, they would have each other. But, whatever. No. No, I would not want Reopening to Reopening old wounds, especially big ones, isn't going to help. Perhaps you are right. There were others... Soldiers who served under me, like your crew. What happened to them? They are dead. Where I left them. We have a saying. Let old ghosts rest. Then there is some wisdom in this cycle. If you can live by it. Oh, I'm sure he can the crew live seems by to it. enjoy staring at me. Commander. He's been through a lot in 50,000 years. Well, actually, considering that he's 50,000 years old, he hasn't been through that much for a 50,000 year old. But uh, he's definitely been through more than us so far. Uh, yeah, everybody pretty much just says my name when I talk to him. So we are going to carry on. There shouldn't be anything to do in the entire galaxy except for assault. Cerberus. Assault the elusive man's base. We'll get that underway right now. Kapow! I didn't miss that. Oh, the base is so far away. Fully fueled. 700,000 credits in the bank. Oh, hey, that looks familiar. And I'm not sure what that looks like. Broken piece of plastic. Is that the uh, the MLA Red Supergiant Anad Anadias? Is a minor footnote. On the star maps of the Horsehead Nebula, a cold, dying star of about 
20 solar masses and 1500 times Sol's radius, not listed on any charts, an unobtrusive space station is nearly imperceptible in the star's periodic bursts of solar output. Edie's advisory. The size and shape of the station suggests many ships could dock in it. Precise measurements would require active scans which could reveal the Normandy's presence. Given the stakes, this level of accuracy is not recommended. Well, thanks, Edie. Admiral Hackett. Shepard, yeah, but let's send the intel you communications. Sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Whoa. Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. If we don't find the Catalyst... So I forget, are we looking for the Catalyst and Cerberus has information? What happens if Cerberus doesn't have the intel we need? Okay. Or they stop us from getting it? They won't. Then we lead the fleets to Earth and we take our chances. But your intel points to Cerberus and the elusive man holding the information we're looking for. And we have the element of surprise. Cerberus won't know what hit him. Let's wait. No, we go now. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're going to end it. I think this is the I'll point of the no return. Mobilized. Like, I think the game warns you, if you carry on with this, you cannot go back. Oh, great. It's oh, God. It's to take a few more hours for the fleets to mobilize. I hate the waiting. I've been trying to find ways to pass the time. Come up with any At least she's not singing. I thought maybe you could use some company tonight. I need to be alone. I really want to say that, but... Will you stay here with me? Until the call comes? For as long as you want. Was that supposed to be him taking off the mask? Because it didn't actually show. Oddly enough. Oh, God. The dreams. And I'm in Kai Lang's armor. Oh, I miss Legion. Yeah. Screw that. I can hold them off. Go back and get Elenko. You know it's the right choice, LT. Ashley. Someone else might have gotten that. Morden. I guess the one that I didn't call out was Eve. The only thing I regret is destroying Malin's research data. Because with it. Eve would still be alive. There's indoctrinated Shepard. That's you, Shepard. That's you indoctrinated. Forgot all about that. That's what the Reapers want. They want you to forget you're indoctrinated. Hey. You okay? My system has adapted. No more negative reaction to you anymore. That's how we survive. Is it how we survive? Adapting? To a cold or interspecies contact? Yes. To the Reapers? No. You're doing the right thing. You've assembled the largest military force in history. Nobody could have done more. I'm betting our lives. Is it enough? Like, I'm, I'm betting more than just our lives. I'm betting the world's lives. And is it enough? It'll have to be enough. And remember that line. Do you adapt to the Reapers? No, you don't adapt to the Reapers. You this destroy is, Reapers. The Reapers will wipe out every major military force in the galaxy in one battle. Lucky them. We're not going to fail. And if you hadn't gathered all our forces together, we'd have all died separately. Thanks. Whenever you need me. Sort of. I definitely didn't need you at that party. Thanks. 
The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single Cerberus ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Liability. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. With my knowledge of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. Sure. Grab your gear. What gear? A gun? Well, we gotta take Edie. We're going after Cerberus. But gotta have my right hand man. I know I should be using other squad mates because it's gotta be boring watching me use the same squad mates over and over. But, uh, why does he have a stabilization mod? Yes. Yes. I really need to finish upgrading that arc pistol. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. It might be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. <laughs> why did he say that like? Shepherd, do what you ready. can. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. It's not your call, Joker. Head to the shuttle, lady. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. Do it. Sorry? Focus, Just Joker. Just get us in there safely. I'll take care of your girlfriend. Well, that wasn't ominous. Thanks. <laughs> Sometimes... Do your job. The fleet needs your help. The Cerberus ships have some upgrades that outclass Alliance specs. The Normandy's the most advanced ship in the galaxy. Go do some damage. Got it. And Shepard, tell Edie to kick some ass. Feels very nice of the old republic. Come on, Cortez, I thought you were good at this. Man. Well, are we in hot or uh do we manage to sneak okay, in? Nope, we're in hot. Oh really? You've got repairs? No way. Feels like it's been a long time since I've fought anything. An atlas? That's what we're concerned about? Oh. Nope. 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 Somebody kill him. Nade. Let's put disruptor ammo on that. I think. Oh, where's that grenade? Yikes. How do I lose an entire mech? Ow! No, 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 no! Ow! Get 
somebody killed a sniper wherever they are? Okay, someone needs to cool it on the grenades. Hey, I got him. Am I really going to try to do this right now? There's your hijack. Oh, come on. I didn't even get to use it. Man, all that for nothing. Couldn't even turn it around to take a shot. What is this? Ow! Oh, God! On the devil. Got it. Well, that was not the best fight in the world. Initiating Achilles protocol. Shepard, Achilles protocol? Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Okay. Well, for right now, I'm going to save. So, thanks for watching. And uh, in the next episode, I'll try to keep us from being spaced by the Cerberus Achilles Protocol.